Integrating cosecant squared of x is not that difficult, but we do have to be a little bit clever. Cosecant squared, by definition, is 1 over sine squared. Then we do a bit of a strange multiplication, multiplying the top by 1 over cosine squared and multiplying the bottom by 1 over cosine squared as well. So that's perfectly legitimate. We're just multiplying by 1. Occasionally, weird multiplication like this can open up u substitution as an option. In this case, the numerator, 1 over cosine squared, is secant squared by definition. In the denominator, sine squared times 1 over cosine squared is just tangent squared. So now we have the integral of secant squared over tangent squared, and now we can use u substitution. Because if we let u equal tangent of x, then in the denominator, we'll have u squared. And when we take the derivative of both sides of this u equation, we find that du equals secant squared x dx, which would take care of the rest of the integral. So what we have then is the integral of 1 over u squared. Secant squared dx is completely replaced by du. Then we can just apply the power rule. 1 over u squared, of course, is the same as u to the negative 2. So the integral of that is negative u to the negative 1 plus the arbitrary constant, and u is the same as tangent. u to the negative 1 is cotangent then, and that gives us our final answer, negative cotangent x plus c.